of boys and girls. It's uh, it's 30 degrees out, about 20 mile an hour winds, and we have to get this bow a sight tape because we're going to the Oklahoma attack tomorrow. And I actually am a little ahead of schedule. I have all of these arrows ready to go. Fletched all these last night, but I don't have a sight tape. So we have to bear the weather today and do that. I have my setup tape on, but I know I cannot get a hundred yards um, for whatever reason. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get sighted in inside here to get my 20 mark. Seems like every time that we come back from a tournament, all of my tournament stuff sits in here for like weeks. So that's been sitting in there for like a week. Um, oh, my release is in there too. I'm about due for a new bow case. This one's getting pretty, pretty ragged. Let's see, I should probably bring both of them for a backup in case I lose one. I probably should shoot this thing through paper too, eh? Nah, I just run. Oh, I haven't done that in a while. I'm just well, I mean, it. it did group super well the other day. It did group super well. I wouldn't even move it. I'm just more curious. Just more curious, yeah. Oh, yeah, wicked right. I feel like we gotta move that. This bow has been tinkered with so much. I'm wearing my gloves because I'm about to go outside and it's about to be freezing cold. So that was... Yeah, right. So I need to move it left. Boom. Let's try another one, different one this time. Okay, way better. Way better and um, looks like we're still a little high. Which makes sense because I tuned this bow for axis, which is a five millimeter. This is a four millimeter. So we just gotta bump it up. This is how actually all of my tuning gets done. <laughs> is right before a tournament or something. We have to cram it in and get it done. Ooh, that was a blow through. I'm gonna take my gloves off though. I feel like shooting with gloves sometimes can cause some weird issues. Okay, we're still a little right. That's what I thought the last one was too. Just a little bit more. Riley, are you excited to go stand outside in the 20 degree weather? I've actually been looking forward to it. <laughs> Luckily, this weekend in Oklahoma, it's gonna be really nice out. Pretty damn close. I don't know why we're getting that high. Let's shoot that again. Of course. Hold on. Went <laughs> right through another hole. Still high. So I backed up. I went from like five yards to about eight yards and just a little bit more magnified. So I'm gonna bump it up more. Fun. How is it I always drop stuff? Is it cause I'm going too fast? Yeah, like that's part of my problem. I probably shouldn't have moved it even though my arrows were wonky. Command Z. Command Z? Yeah. It's a little, a little too late for that. Oh, I dropped it. I was like, where did that go? All right, let's shoot from back here. Dang, we're really still on my high right there. So I want to get maximum, maximum distance out of this. Already using up a lot. So we're gonna get sighted in back here, and this will roughly be 20. Nice, that is my full left adjustment. Oh, I 
love that feature in the HHA, like actually. Nice. Right through the bag. Is it? Yeah. But now, you know, we're about a quarter way down our our bar here, so I want to fix that. Isn't this second axis right here? So this is gonna be jacked too. Whatever, that's good. Let's fix it. Yeah. Nope. Oh. Not that far. And before we do second axis, I'm just gonna make sure that this is where we want it. Close. It's about as low as I wanna go though. We should get our distance fine. There we go. Okay, just gonna throw this in the jig, get our second axis, and we're good. I feel like we should have it close. Just manhandling it into place. Close enough. Okay, let's go get our 20. No, wait. How's it work again? You do, you get sighted in at 20. Yeah, and 60. And you move this barrel to zero, and then you get sighted in at 60 by turning the whole sight. Yep, and then whatever number it lands on is the tape. Yep. Oh, yeah. Custom. Custom. If our projections are correct, we should be pretty close. Good. It's actually getting warmer outside. It was pretty warm when I went out. Okay, those are three arrows, perfect height wise. So, what we have to do now is find a really small Allen wrench. Loosen this, bring this to zero. Then we're gonna back up to 60 yards and get a mark. We might even do it from in here. I actually don't think we can because I can only get 50 before I start rubbing on that. Clipping. We gotta go outside. Mm -hmm. Just super bright, eh? Yeah, we're good now. Good now? Yeah. Back at 60. Had to work our way back, 30, 40, 50, now we're at 60. Oh, it's so windy, I can't even shoot. Why don't we go into the barn? We should go into the barn. Pause. It's 59 and a half, 60. Way better in here. Highly recommend. Problem is, it's still windy outside, so our ups and downs will be good, but when we get there, we might have to change our left and right slightly. You always want to side in in perfect conditions and this is not it. My arrow's in there like so crooked so that's good. Definitely see a kick. It's kicking to the right. Left and right is good. I'm assuming this is the wind doing this to me. I can just see my arrow kind of like all the way down. That was middle. Right. Yep. Ooh, 
That one had some wild angle coming out of it. That's got to be the win. All of them are like whew, sticking in the target. <clears throat> let, me see, let me go pull them and uh, shoot a couple more times. Yeah. Not bad. They're all way right. Look at this one. How crooked in the target that is. They're all crooked. It's just that windy conditions. Great for sighting in your bow. We'll just have to, like, the practice in the morning, just get my left and right's good. We can actually get a good sight tape. Hoping that's the win. Make it not crazy. That one almost flew perfect. Nice. <laughs> See how this thing does with a bunch of dust in it. Let's drop it again. It's like, <laughs> click. New multi-click. <laughs> No dirt. I got a good group down there. They're just all a little right. I'm afraid we're gonna show up to the practice range and I'm just gonna be like a foot to the left, which I have done that before. That was right there. Uh -huh. Buzzing my arm from time to time. It's a puffy jacket. Um, I guess we can talk about this. This is gonna be my tack setup. For, uh, at least this year, going into this year, might end up switching bows around, but it's a, uh, the same bow I shot or, or hunted with all year long. V3X29 is way the perfect axle axle. 29 and 30 are my favorite axle axle bows. Um, I'm gonna be running the HHA with the UV3. Um, this will be my first actual test run in like a, like a tournament event, um, other than just messing around in the backyard. Uh, I got 12 inch, 12 inch uh, shrewd uh, B-roll bars, and we actually are shooting the Axis 4 millimeter long range that we did a Lancaster build on. Actually, I really like this arrow, and I think it'll be really good for tack stuff. A little bit, a little bit smaller, some smaller veins. I did a four fletch on them, so really good tack setup. Definitely, um, I'm running 12 and 12 on my stabilizers, which I don't always run when I'm hunting. Just a little extra stabilization. And this four millimeter, I don't always use for hunting. So a couple little more target-esque type things. But other than that, it's pretty much a hunting rig. And that's why I love to bring hunting rigs to Total Archery Challenges and stuff is to just to get warmed up and to, to sharpen your ax pretty much. You know, the more, the more experience and exposure you can get with your hunting rig and hunting type situations, just the, more, the better you're going to be, more prepared you're going to be. Not bad. I don't know. I mean, it's a good group up and down. Just that wind. Okay, above or below 284? Mm, above. Above. Whoa! That's a fast boy. 308. That's a real fast boy. Four fifteen, yeah, that's light. That's a fast setup. Okay, so do we move our? We remember our tape, or we remember what number this is on, which is forty mm, thirty nine and a half. They don't have half, so. Mm -hmm. It's closer to 39, we'll just call our 39. So we move it back to zero, right? And that's our 20. Yeah, I'm just actually gonna swap out the wheel. Cause we have 39 here. Is that the fastest one? There's probably more, obviously. They start at one. Yeah. 
just like that. This, this is such an easy system. Bingo, bango. Sight tape engaged. Oh, hey, we are on. We're, are we in Oklahoma yet? No. We're almost in Oklahoma. We we'll probably need a uh, another energy drink. We're about two hours out. Just showed up here in Oklahoma. My bow actually is pretty much on. We're gonna shoot a little bit more. Um, shooting yesterday, literally in 30 mile an hour winds. I wanted to make sure it was on, but ups and downs good. Just gotta give it a couple of clicks and we're pretty much ready to rip for tomorrow.